Hey there. So several of you have been asking me um, after our last book, what's the next book? What are we going to do next? What are we going to do next? And I didn't really know after the surgery, um, the energy level, and I didn't really know what the Lord was wanting me to do. So I told you to just wait and <laughs> be patient. And so we have found um, a new book and it's 40 Days Freedom Walk. I don't know if this is twisted where you can read it or not. 40 Day Freedom Walk Journal. It's volume two and it has fasting components. This is by Father Mark Goring, G-O-R-I-N-G. -G. You can go on YouTube and see several of his videos. He's an amazing priest. And what this is going to do for us is we're all going to walk together. You can physically walk as you do your prayer. Um, I currently am in Texas where it's about 110. I will not be walking outside. But I have um, exercise equipment that I'm going to make sure I'm doing the exercise every day. And that be my prayer time with the Lord as well. So um, just to give you an idea of what this is. And how this works is there's seven keys to doing this well. And the first key is to um, walking every day, right? And that can be physically or spiritually. And I know since the surgery, I've been sleeping a lot and PT started and I've been getting tired. But I still need my prayer life. I still need to focus on God first and the rest second. And so I've just got to get my focus back. And so with our daily walks, we will be able to, to do that exact same thing. So you can do your walk and it can be done in whatever way that suits you. If you want to go to the gym and walk, if you want to walk in your neighborhood, if you want to walk in the house, I've got a reformer. So I'm going to be doing my, um, my walking and my, my uh, prayer time when I do my PT that the physical therapists have assigned me. Tony's going to do probably his bike. He's probably going to jump yes. on his bike. And so his will be bike time. Uh, the second key to this is journaling daily. Now, I know for some of you, you don't like writing things down. I struggle with writing things down. I don't really um, like writing things down other than like when I'm planning, making a grocery list, getting things done, that kind of stuff. Yes, mapping stuff out. But I'm always afraid someone's going to come back and read my journals and see how bad I spell. And um, so <laughs> I got a little... Are you going to join us too? And um, <clears throat> so journaling every day, what that's going to do is help us be able to look back three days, look back 10 days and see how far the Lord has helped us grow. Okay. So it'll help us maintain our resolve and stay focused on the goal. Yeah, just don't, don't feel like you, um, you, you may feel kind of ridiculous writing some things down or it's like, oh, I'm not a good writer. I, I, I don't sound good. Um, don't worry about it. It's, it's only for you. It's only you to, yeah. for you to read it. And you'll know where you were when you wrote it, when you read it again. So don't worry about it. Just write it down. Put it down no matter how crazy or silly it sounds. Yep. And so like this is the space that you have. It's not a huge amount of space. So you don't have to sit and feel like you've got to write paragraphs upon paragraphs. Um, it's basically just a, a way for you to keep track. Um, you know, like for example, we don't realize sometimes how much we snack, right? Like we snack, but then you get a calorie counter and you start putting those in that calorie counter and you realize, woo, those calories uh, add up real quick. So when you're writing and journaling, you can look back and go, wow. I really have been praying a lot. Wow, I've had better days than days that I've, I've slipped up. So it's good for those things. The third key is sending a daily report. We will create a group, a private group, like we've done for the other consecration books that we've done. And um, you're welcome to join that group. If you want a friend, we have to do the invitation because I want to keep it private. I don't want to be public because we want to be accountability buddies. Um, when God put this on my heart, I'm like, I'm going to have to ask Tony to do this with me. And so now I have Tony doing this and my mom, we're all going to do this together. And even the kids are going to jump in and help out. But I also would like to have some girlfriends that I can put a smiley face in that group and go, whoo, I made it today. It was tough. I wanted to go into that drive through and get some fried chicken, but I didn't. I went and I ate something healthy instead, you know, so um, third key is that daily report 
and we're going to simply, you can put a smiley face, you can share those moments, you can put a butterfly, like whatever, a heart. Butterfly. You're going to put a butterfly? No. No? I don't even know that you're even going to do anything in the group, so. Of course. But. I will. Um, that's the third key, is that we're all here to help each other grow and be accountable. Fourth key is your daily walk is meant to be a time of prayer. The fourth key is to pour your heart out to God while walking. Simply talk to God as you would talk to a friend. And so, again, just figure out that prayer time. If physically walking helps you do this better, do it. If getting together with some of the gals in our group or doing it as a husband and wife, do it. Whatever works. Fifth key is to listen to the intentions of your heart while you're walking. This is the most important key of this freedom program. When you pour your heart out to God, he will respond by filling your heart with his wisdom and power. He will speak to you in the silence of your heart with his still, small voice. It is precisely this infilling of your heart that will give you the power to be free. So it's okay to go walk and not have much to say and just let invite the Holy Spirit to come there and just let your heart and the Lord do the work. It's okay to do that too. Sixth key is to do a good deed every day. So you'll see in the journal, um, good deed, and there's a little spot there that you can put. But a good deed could be the simple fact that I've washed the laundry for my family today. <laughs> it doesn't have to be this over elaborate, um, like going saving a truckload of kittens off of a Highway 75. Um, you know, it could be the small things. Maybe you buy a cup of coffee for that coworker that rubs you the wrong way. You know, maybe it's just some kind of small deed every day for 40 days. Um, maybe it's a prayer for someone. You know, that's a great um, deed as well. And then the seventh key. 40 days is a long time. The seventh key is to celebrate some milestones along the way. This will help you stay motivated. So three days after, we need to celebrate, right? We need to go in the group. We need to celebrate everybody. And because getting through that third day is the toughest. Day four, we're definitely going to celebrate that we have persevered through those hard three days, right? And then if we make it through 10 days that you're, you're kind of on a roll now and you're creating these new habits and it's going to start setting in, on day 11, celebrate the fact that you have persevered for 10 days. The halfway mark is a big milestone. So on day 21, celebrate the fact that you're halfway there. And if you've persevered 30 days, this means you're on the home stretch. So keep going and celebrate a milestone on day 31. When you have made it through the full 40 days, this demands a big celebration. So on day 41, celebrate um, a mission accomplished. So we're actually got a family camp out plan that weekend that we will finish. And um, because I'm not really tent camp out material right now, we'll probably get a hotel. So that will be our way of celebrating from the heat. <laughs> we'll spend all day camping out and hanging out with our friends and then go get some air conditioning at the hotel. So, um, but this is our journey that we're going to be doing. Um, like I said, I've got the kids involved. Hannah's over here sneaking on the side. Can you see? Sneaking here. There she is. Hello. <laughs> um, it, it's going to be, you know, it's probably not going to be a lot of fun at times. But my goal is to make it joyful at least, right? Like we can have joy in the midst of sorrow. So find something that speaks to you that the Lord's been saying, you know, you can do without this. You can, you need to unplug from this or you need to pull away from this. And whatever that may be, you can share with us in the group. Um, mine is going to be the sugars and the sweets and the, the um, just eating things that's not necessary, right? I need to get back more on a sustainable eating to help my healing progress. And, and the kids are going to join me and my husband. So do you have any words of encouragement or... I'll just go with God, trust the Holy Spirit, and and just just dig in and do it. It's and if you screw up, get back up again. That's right. That's that's, that's right. Because you know we're we're human. We, we screw up. That's what we do. So uh, don't beat yourself up over something that whenever you forget or you just stumble or whatever, just get back up and do it again. That's okay. It. And then Joseph says he's got something to say. 
What are you going to say? Have a good day. Have a good day. <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah, that's a good one. So at the end of the day, it's to have a good day. You're building your prayer life with the Lord. You're spending that quiet time walking. You're getting physical exercise. Um, and then you're getting rid of bad habits. So check out Father Mark Goring. You can get this on Amazon. I think it's like eight bucks. It's not a lot. It's very little. It fits. Take it with you on your journals. So if something strikes you or you think of something, just write it down. Um, so anyway, we'll get the group going. I'll share it in all our outlets. You feel free to share this with your friends personally, direct message me. You know how to get in touch with me. Um, and let's get, let's get to walking. Let's get on our, our freedom walk journey. Um, and we will start September 11th. So that'll be on a Monday and you got a couple weeks to get prepped up and go ahead and clean out the house. <laughs> That's oh, what I'm doing. I'm getting all the sweets. I got two weeks. Hannah's birthday's <laughs> coming up and I'm like, I can't do it before her birthday. So we're going to get all the sweets out of the house and start September 11th and go 40 days into, um, praying and fasting and walking together with the Lord. So you want to close this out with a prayer or a blessing? All right. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go with God. Have a great Sunday. We'll see you, uh, what, in two weeks? Yeah, in just a couple mm -hmm. weeks. Bye. Right. We Bye. hope you have a good day at Mass.